today. We will be arriving in Shibuya shortly. This is the last stop for this line. Please transfer here for all subway lines. The doors to your left will open. <laughs> Cult stuff, don't you? <laughs>
transit bus was driven down an opposing lane with its customers still in it. The citizens can't live in peace if this keeps up. Oh, how frightening. What could be going on? Didn't something similar happen just the other day? Hmm. Vertical is the name of a shellfish used for farming pearls. Oh, right. They did say that was today. Well, we'll be going now. The payment's on the table. Thanks for coming. Uh, this place is in the back alley, so there's no worries of a car crashing in here. A what now? There's been a string of those rampage accidents, you know. I just hope that none happen around here. It's none of my concern. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Four hours for just a single cup of joe. So, you're the guy. Uh-huh. I'm Sojiro Sakura. You'll be in my custody over the next year. I was wondering what kind of unruly kid would show up. But you're the one, huh? Have you been told? A customer of mine and your parents know each other and, well, not that that matters. Follow me. This is your room. I'll at least give you sheets for your bed. Hmm? You look like you want to say something. It's on you to clean up the rest. I'll be leaving after I lock up each day. You'll be alone at night, but don't do anything stupid. I'll throw you out if you cause any trouble. Now then. I got the gist of your situation. You protected some woman from a man forcing himself on her. He got injured, then sued you, right? That's what you get for sticking your nose in a matter between two adults. You did injure him, yeah? And now that you've got a criminal record, you were expelled from your high school. The courts ordered you to transfer and move out here, which your parents also approved. In other words, they got rid of you for being a pain in the ass. It's best you not talk about anything unnecessary. I am in the restaurant business, you know. Behave yourself for the year. If nothing happens, your probation will be lifted. Really now? It's the word that applies to you. Your sentence lasts until next spring, right? That's why you're gonna be here for the coming year. Cause any problems, and you'll be sent straight to Juvie. We'll be going to Shujin tomorrow. Shujin Academy, the school you'll be attending. We'll introduce ourselves properly to the staff there. There's rarely a place to accept someone like you, you know? <laughs> what a waste of my Sunday. Your luggage arrived earlier. I left them over there.
seriously. You think you're worth causing me trouble, huh? I'll... I'll call the police! <laughs> call them if you want. The police are my bitches. They're not gonna take you, sit. No! Stop! Someone called the cops, huh? Get in the car! Incompetent fools like you just need to shut your mouths and follow where I steer this country. What are you looking at? Get out of my face! This ain't a show. Get lost, kid. See? This is all because you're so damn slow. Get in the car!
<gasps> Trickster, welcome to my velvet room. is currently fast asleep. You are only experiencing this as a dream. You're in the presence of our master. Stand up straight! Welcome. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. It is a room that only those who are bound by a contract may enter. I am Igor, the master of this place. Remember it well. I summoned you to speak of important matters. It involves your life as well. Still, this is a surprise. The state of this room reflects the state of your own heart. To think a prison would appear as such. You truly are a prisoner of fate. In the near future, there is no mistake that ruin awaits you. I speak of the end to everything. However, there is a means to oppose such a fate. You must be rehabilitated, rehabilitated toward freedom. That is your only means to avoid ruin. Do you have the resolve to challenge the distortion of the world? You didn't decline, hmm. Very well, that is enough. Allow me to observe the path of your rehabilitation. Ah, pardon me for not introducing the others. To your right is Caroline. To your left, Justi. They serve as wardens here. Ha! Try and struggle as hard as you like! The duty of wardens is to protect inmates. We are also your collaborators. That is, if you remain obedient. I shall explain the roles of these two, at another occasion. Now then, it seems the night is waning. It is almost time. Take your time to slowly come to understand this place. We will surely meet again, eventually. <laughs>